Do you want a high-performance Jupyter Notebook? If you answered yes, then this video is for you because today I'm going to be showing you a high-performance Jupyter Notebook platform. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So the platform that we're talking about today is called the Blazing Notebooks and it is provided by the BlazingSQL.com. And so let's have a look further. So the high performance nature of this Jupyter Notebook is coming from the fact that it leverages the Rapids library from NVIDIA. And so a prior video, I've shown you how the Rapids library will be able to speed up your data science project. And so the links to that video will be provided in the description of this video. And the links to this Blazing SQL Notebook will be provided also in the description of this video. And so the great thing is that Rapids comes pre-installed and so there's nothing for you to do, just log in and it's ready for you to use. So let's have a look further. So this provides a YouTube video that will allow you to see how easy it is. You just sign in and then you could get started writing your code and making use of the Rapids library which leverages the use of the GPU for your data science projects. And so under the hood, the Blazing SQL comes pre-installed with Dask, of course, the Jupyter Lab, and also the Rapids library. So Dask will allow you to handle large data sets. And so the Rapids library will allow you to perform quicker computation of your machine learning model building process by leveraging the use of the GPU. And the Blazing SQL will allow you to perform SQL query as well. So let's have a look here. So here you can see that currently out of the box, it will support the use of one GPU. And so for here, you're going to be seeing that there is a wait list that you could sign up for that will allow you to leverage the use of more than one GPU. And if you're a paid user, then you have more options to allow you to perform more capabilities such as distributing the workload into multiple GPU clusters as demonstrated by this diagram. Okay, so let's have a look at the notebook. So you could click on the top right hand corner, log in, and then you could sign in using your Google account. All right, and so it's logging in. Okay, and so upon logging in, you will be seeing a empty Jupyter Notebook for you to enter your own code and try it out. Or you can also try out the pre-existing notebook that is provided in the welcome folder. So let's have a look here, double click on it. And so let's have a look at the welcome notebook. Okay, so the great thing about this is also that it provides you with a notebook that will allow you to see the full features of the Blazing SQL Notebook. And so let's scroll down and find cell number one for us to run. Okay, so this will be loading in the Blazing Context function from the Blazing SQL. Let's run it. So we're gonna make use of SQL queries here. And so let's continue to the next cell run it, and then we're going to select everything from the taxi. All right, and so it's displayed at the bottom here, comprising of over 743,000 rows and 19 columns. Let's run it further. Okay, and so this will leverage the use of the CUDF or the data frame provided by the Rapids library. So the CUDF is described here. It is a GPU data frame and it is similar to Pandas. So let's have a look here. Let's run it. Okay, so it's similar to the series of the Pandas. Let's run some more SQL. Let's run the tail. And then you're gonna see the bottom two entries here, the last two entries from the DF. And let's describe the data frame. And so you're gonna be seeing the descriptive summary statistics here, the count, the mean, standard deviation, minimum value, maximum value, the first quartile, second quartile, and the third quartile for all of the columns here. 
And then the CUDF data frame worked pretty much like the pandas data frame. And so you could also use some conditional statement here as well. And so as you can see here, you could implement these two conditions and then the resulting 214,000 rows out of the 700,000 rows are displayed here. So this cell allows you to convert it to the pandas in order to allow compatibility or interoperability with other modules like the machine learning building process that might be familiar with the pandas data frame. So you could convert it here using the two pandas function. Okay, let's have a look at some of the data visualization. And so this will be using the matplotlib. Let's run it. And so you're going to be seeing this plot displayed here, the scatter plot of the passenger count versus the tip amount. And so this is the map of New York, I presume. Yeah, New York City. Let's run it. So this allows you to visualize rather large data set. So it's going to have the corresponding data points from the map of the New York City. Okay. All right, so let's continue to using the CUML functions from the Rapids library. All right, and so in this example, we're going to be predicting the fair amount of the taxi. And let's have a look at the code here. So it's going to be timing the calculation here. So from the CUML, it's going to work pretty much like from stlearn. Import linear regression from CUML.preprocessing.modelSelection. Import train test split. So it will work pretty much like the ones from stlearn. Let's run it. Let's run this also. So we're going to create the X and Y matrices. And then we're going to be splitting the data using the 80-20 split ratio. Okay, and so let's proceed with building the linear regression model. And then we're going to be making the prediction right here. Let's have a look. All right, so it was fairly quick at 619 milliseconds. But the CPU time is much quicker, 434 millisecond. And so the R square is 0 0.25. All right, and so that's pretty much it for this welcome notebook. So feel free to play around with the other introductory notebooks that is provided by the Blazing SQL. Or you could also create your own notebook and then import your own data using various functions like wget in order to import your own library. And so please feel free to play around. Okay, so Okay, so that's all for the welcome notebook here. And so please feel free and play around with the other notebooks provided by the Blazing SQL. And they're provided in the intro notebooks folder. And also they have some data set that you could also play around with. So feel free to create a new notebook and then play around with all of the various data set and all of the other notebooks as well. And so if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.